We'll look at the uh, tail of the tape for these two fighters. And as if Chuka John doesn't have enough problems, you look at the reach of Duran Ennis. Now, he's an attacker, but sometimes he chooses to stay back and use the jab and use his reach. And this gives him an edge in doing that. So Chuka John is going to have to fight that as well as the hand and power, hand speed and power of Ennis. Well, fans from the Capital One Arena here in Washington, D.C., Premier Boxing Champions presents the co-main event of the evening, brought to you by GTD Promotions and TGB Promotions. This bout in association with DND Boxing and Showtime Pay-Per-View. We are sanctioned by the IBF, the President, Daryl Peoples, Supervisor, Melvina Latham. Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside, from Maryland, David Braslow, from the District of Columbia, Tammy Jenkins, and from Maryland, Paul Wallace. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, Malik Walid. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the IBF Interim Welterweight World Championship. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with black trim, hailing from Kiev, Ukraine. He weighed in at 146 and one quarter pounds. His record stands at 21 wins, one loss, with 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his U.S. and Showtime debut, he is seeking his 21st straight win. Please welcome the IBF number four ranked welterweight contender. Introducing uh, Karen Chukajan. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner in this interim world title bout. Wearing red trunks with multicolor trim, fighting out of and representing his home of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at a trim and ready 145 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with an outstanding record of 29 wins, no losses, one no decision with 27 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the hard hitting IBF number one ranked welterweight contender whose last 19 wins have all been by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated sensational young star of the welterweight division introducing Jerron Boots Ennis. Once again, a referee in charge now to give instructions. Malik Walid. Okay, gentlemen, you both have been given the rules. You know I'm expecting good, clean boxing. When I say break, stop punching, take a full step back. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to you both. Malik Walid returns to referee, our co-feature in the welterweight division. We saw cool boy Steph. Stephen Fulton, unified 122-pound champ, who's a sparring partner for Jerron Boots Ennis, supporting his fellow Philly fighter. Bell and round number one. Jerron Boots Ennis has done everything asked of him trying to force the alphabet organizations, trying to force the biggest names in one of the deepest, most talent-laden divisions to meet him in the ring. Tonight, he takes on big underdog, Karen Chuka, John, but Ennis says this is the year he takes over the division. Ennis said that he wants to concentrate on body work tonight. He, he always picks something out to do in a fight, and that's what he wants to try and work on tonight. Well, that's... Jab backs up. 
Chuka John, that laser jab, one of his many potent weapons. Yeah, moments ago, also, and has almost walked in into a right hand that Chuka John threw. It, and, you know, Chuka John has that bounce on his feet. Once he gets on a rhythm, you know, he could be dangerous. He's a very, he has very good movement, Chuka yes. John. He's shown that in a number of fights. And while we've seen Ennis, due to the nature of his style, get hit on occasion, he can yeah. take a decent shot, and he's very slick defensively as well. Yeah. The total package from what we've seen thus far, but yeah. again, needs to step up the competition, and that's what he wants to do. Yeah, just took a right hand from Chuka John, and, you know, he switched to lefty now, which I think is actually the place where uh, Ennis feels most comfortable. He is so smooth from southpaw or orthodox. And Chuka John, who's got slick skills as well, technical. A lot of footwork. A lot of footwork. Trying to jab with Ennis there, Chuka John, but Ennis' jab is just too long, too fast, and even and making it even uh, more difficult on the southpaw stands because, you know, uh, the left is, is, is quick from Ennis. A minute left in the first double jab from Ennis. Cheers <laughs> out says it goes, hey, I'm ready here. Beware of dropping your hands yeah, against a guy like Ennis. Probably a mistake. But I like that. I like, you know, the fact that he's showing that he's here to fight. And, yeah. you know, I like the faint that he's doing there, Chuka John, as yeah, well. Yeah, he's fainting a lot. And that, that is a good maneuver on his part. Whoa. Ennis looking to land the big one. But Chuka John bouncing back and forth. And it says a new strength and conditioning coach for this fight. He, he said, I feel in better condition than maybe I've ever been in. His name, Al Taf Matula, who's helped Ennis prepare to keep his record perfect. We are through one. Take a look at what Butzenis might do to win this fight. Create doubt early, make Chuka John feel like he doesn't belong in there with him, and he still has a round or two to do that. Combinations, he's one of the best combination punchers in boxing, and his uppercut is a huge weapon, and that punch has created many knockdowns for him already, and knockouts. There's for Chuka John, uh, jab with conviction. He's got to get that jab working. He also has a very good uppercut, which he might get a chance to land. And he, in the first round, he did this. Stay off the ropes. Ennis will eat you up when you get on the ropes. Round number two, Chuka John, trained by 45-year-old former 147-pound belt holder, 2000 Ukrainian Olympian Vyacheslav Senchenko, who retired in July of 2015, while Ennis, he is trained by his father, Bozy. Of course, helped along in his journey by his two older brothers, who were professional fighters as well. Very cohesive family, uh, dedicated to the sport of boxing, and they support each other so well. Yeah, that left, uh, that softball stand really confusing Chuck John not being able to, to really let go. And obviously, obviously the jab from man is just keeping the right range. And it's coming off a second round knockout win against the previously undefeated 2012 Canadian Olympian, Custio Clayton. Yeah, that was such an impressive win. Clayton, a good fighter, and uh, Ennis just dominated him. Ennis became one of the mandatory challengers for three belt title holder, Errol Spence Jr. Spence recovering from another car accident in December when a 14-year-old stole his family vehicle, ran a red light, smashed head-on into Spence's SUV, hoping to return later this year. Of course, last year negotiations between he and other belt holder Terrence Crawford ended up going nowhere. You got Keith Thurman 
You got so many fighters at 147. Imantis Danionis, Virgil Ortiz. Drawn Ennis wants to face all of them. He does. Garcia has to get through tonight, but yes, he's he's anxious. Um, <laughs> the, qu the question is who wants to fight him, right? Yeah, that's the Well, that's problem. why he had yeah. to go to the Ukraine to find Karen yeah. Chukajan, who was willing to step into the squared no, circle no, against him. And in this round, Chukajan, while he has not landed a lot of punches, his movement has prevented Ennis from doing yeah. a lot of offensive work. Now, that may not win you rounds, but it keeps you in the fight for now while you can figure out what else you can do offensively. And we knew coming into this fight, the one thing we knew about Chuka John was very stylish boxer who's got very good foot movement. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's showing. But Ennis with that jab is kind of yeah. stopping that bounce a bit. Yeah. And when he sees a flat-footed Chuka John, he, he goes straight in with the combination. And Shuka John only averages 36 punches per round anyway, although he's thrown 40-some in this round. But he may have to pick up that pace in this match. Oh, a couple of triple left hand by Shuka John. The data download continues for both fights. <laughs> Do it, do it with your right hand. And, and take. If he, tur if he turns, if he turns right. If you turn right, you fight, fight. Fight, not punch him, not in the head, but punch him in the torso. Sanchenko wants Chuka John to attack the body. Slow down the movement of Ennis. Ennis normally lands 53% of his power punches, which is staggering. Right hand an by Ennis. And this is a fight of rhythm. I think that Ennis is waiting for Kugujan to yeah. bounce right into the right hand. Yep. He almost caught him there. And it's, a, it's a beautiful work there. I mean, really high IQ to really time that bounce up and down, up and down from Kukachan and uh, almost catching him with that right hand. And Ennis goes back okay, to Southpaw. Clean, clean. It's actually clean, more switching mid-round than we've seen from Ennis. Normally, he'll take a whole round and be a righty and then take a left, but he's switching around a little bit in this fight. Counter right by Ennis, misses with the left as Chuka John utilizes his footwork to avoid Ennis momentarily. Ennis lands a combination along the ropes. You know, Chuka John's uh, movement, which has been, of course, very good, of course, it mutes your offense, too, unless you're jabbing while you do it. And one of the keys I had was, you know, jab with conviction. He, he needs to use that jab to at least set things up. And the intentions are there for Ennis to, to catch him while he comes out as, he, as he's walking out or turning. And I think Ennis got on the ropes to try and lure him in so he could counter him there. Chukajan making sure that he'll get his 10,000 steps early in this fight, <laughs> utilizing that lateral movement and, and smartly doing so. But like you said, Al, taking away yeah. from his own offense. And now Ennis again trying to slow him down, trying to establish the jab from Southpaw. I feel like if he follows up but right after that left with the hook, he'll be able to catch uh, Kuka John. And the way Chuka John is moving to his left, walking into the power alley of that right hook from Southpaw stance. That's the best combination Chuka John has landed in this fight. He just landed a nice little combination. 
And of course, Ennis would like him to become a little more offensive minded so he he right. have more punching opportunities. Right cross from Chuka John across the beard of Ennis. And Ennis trying to corral Chuka John, lands a straight left down the middle. There's a hard right hook from Ennis. Now slowing down Chuka John, they clinch as we. Come to the end of round three, scheduled for 12 at 147. Nice right hand at the bell by Chuka John. Capital One Arena, in the words of the dearly departed Gorilla Monsoon, they are hanging from the rafters here tonight in anticipation not only to see this promising youngster in Jerron Boots Ennis, but the main okay, event, we'll undefeated self pause. One, two, three, four, you're Don't want to tell your dad, man, to get close. Because he, he's stepping back every time. He don't want to fight. It's the fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going to break, keep on breaking down with them body shots, though. Go to the head and go, Boots, I want to see this. Move. Bing, bing, bing. I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah. And bring that defense back up, man. <laughs> you can walk to him if you want to do that. Mosey Ennis, his dad wants him to focus on his defense. And as we begin round four, early impressions of the fight, Abner. I mean, I like what Ennis is doing, trying to set up a trap, trying to get a rhythm there. Uh, even from Chuka John, as soon as he walks in, like I said, with that bounce, um, you know, I like the pressure that Ennis has been putting since the very first round. We saw Chuka John right at the end of the round try to land a counter right hand. We're going to see that again as Ennis attacks, whether he can land it and whether it can do any damage remains to be seen. And see, every time he misses the left, uh, Ennis, I think he should follow it up with that same hook that he took through right there. And there, Chuka John lands a left. Oh, that was a nice double left hook. Okay, break. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. You mentioned Chuka John is at four straight knockout wins. Uh, he's not known as a power puncher. That's, that's kind of a, a big power surge for him. And in July, get, 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 break. Get he won by six-round TKO against Blake Minto. His success has been predicated on his intelligence, mobility, the counter-punching ability, and defensive skill. And we've seen in the past wow. his ability to slip punches he's aimed at the head. He's having his best round here. He's landed some punches more in this round, according to show stats, than Ennis. Oh, there's a right hook, though, that kept him from escaping. And now Ennis unloading. We're clean, we're clean. And Ennis doubles up with the right. Great body work there from Ennis. I mean, he's not just the head hunter. Speaking of Ennis, he, I mean, he really works the body well. Right hook, left hand lands for the undefeated Ennis. That's the uppercut from Ennis, and that's a huge weapon for him. 60 seconds left in the fourth. Chuka John continues to move, Ooh. slips that punch. Normally, 34% of the punches landed by Ennis are body shots. Oh, so good he counter wants left to go hook there. by Chuka John. Sorry, Al. It's okay. Yeah, he's found a hole for that left hook. That was a fast right hand from Chuka John, also. I mean, Chuka John here, you know, letting his hands go, also, but it is Ennis' power punches that are doing the most. They're both thrown 43 punches, both landed 12 in this round. Another punch okay. scores go. for Chuka John, especially when you see Ennis not his head. Yeah, well, it's a lead right hand. It's not a huge punch, but, but it's got there. It landed, yep. Yeah. The other thing, he's fainting and doing good head movement, Chuka John. Well, we talked about his ability to slip punches aimed yeah. at the head and putting that on display here. Ringing in the new year with a sold out crowd at Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C.
Here's Chukajan getting that left hook in, and look at how, how smart Ennis is to counter with the right hook. But Chukajan's got in there a little better, but that shows you the, the work of both fighters. And later on in the round, and there's another left hook from Chukajan. Uh, and Ennis with that uppercut, and Abner, that's a big weapon. For that's him. a big weapon. That uppercut <laughs> usually takes guys out, but you know, Chukajan took it really well. But again, the follow up from Ennis, I'm still, still waiting on. There's unified 122 pound champion Stephen Fulton Jr. getting ready to rematch Brandon Figueroa That's later in the year. He's worked extensively with Jerron Boots Ennis, Philadelphia, of course. A fight town through and through. That's for sure. Fifth round, scheduled for 12 at Welterweight. Chuka John looking to record a huge upset. And is looking to remain unbeaten and continue to move up. According to Ring Magazine, he's the number three ranked welterweight behind Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And then is coming out as a righty in this round, using his jab uh, effectively. Lead left hook there by Chuka John. Again, the smart pressure from Menace, you know, not walking in there with the jab, but waiting on Akakuchan also trying to counter him. Especially when he does that bounce. Counter left by Chuka John. One two by Chuka John. Oh, oh counter right from Ennis. That stunned Chuka John and Chuka John now backing up as Ennis tagged him. But Chuka John's footwork allowing him to escape. You can see why Chuka John has beaten some good fighters in Europe and Minta that came from Australia. You can see why he has beaten uh, uh, those kind of welterweights. Uh, whether it translates to the possibility of beating Ennis is a bigger question. But you can see the ability there and, and the movement. Jab from the Southpaw Ennis, but Chuka John continues to move to his right. Get out, get out, get out. Step, step. And again, when you move to your right against the, the spouse pie, you're walking into that left hand. Watch it, watch it. Keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. Take a step back. Come on. I'm right. But it's always like Kuga John is kind of tricked and is to throw that left hand. Oh, and on the ropes and and is saying no problem. Under a minute left in the fifth round. <laughs> wow, uh, Kukaja gets away with, with those little sidesteps. It's, it's, it's beautiful. You know, a lot of the video I saw of Kukaja was, was from three or four years ago. He is better now than he was three or four years ago. Shuka John has faced only one notable opponent, that being South Africa's Ali Funeka back in 2017. Funeka had seen better days. He was a three-time lightweight title challenger, but the fight with Shuka John was at 147. Mm -hmm. And again, we talk about his lone defeat coming at the beginning of his career. He's been down once mm -hmm. back in 2018. But right now, it continues to be the, the chase by Ennis. Ennis landing a couple of left hands at the end of the round. Washington, D.C., a full house at Capital One Arena. Showtime pay-per-view brings you the first major boxing event of the year. You know, that is Ennis landing a really nice short right hand. And while Kuka John has done a good job of movement, Ennis has gotten in some nice power punches during the course of this fight. And on the ropes, uh, Kuka John trying to land the right. It doesn't get there. And Ennis slipping yet another right hand and the hook. So uh, Ennis showing us some of his defensive skills there. And later on in the round, Ennis again getting in one of those power punches. There he'd switched to the lefty stance. He switched a couple times in that round. 
We enter round six. Now, for Jerron Boutsen, it's only two men have taken him the distance. Eddie Diaz, who went four rounds in 2016. James Winchester, who took him six the following year. He's never been past six. Interesting round. I wonder if he's aware of that or do you, if he even thinks that. He stopped Sergey Lipinets in the sixth, who'd been one of the more decorated fighters he's faced. Yeah, Kukajan has never been 12 either, but he is 2-0 uh, in 10 rounders. Chuka John with the left hook on Ennis. Ennis using the jab, but Chuka John still able to to roam the ring. Yeah, especially when there's single jabs, it's a lot easier to get away from him. Ennis has to triple those jabs, double, triple those, and then follow it up again. And in this round, Chukajan has, you know, again, the movement has helped him avoid the big punches, but he's not been able to get his offense going. Counter right hook, left hand by no, 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 Jerron no, no. Boots Ennis. Said it was going to be an explosive short night. That's not proving to be the case against Karan Chukajan, the 26-year-old, 21 and one, only 11 knockouts, but riding a career-high four KO streak against limited opposition, but hoping to change his life tonight. And you know, every uh, he's probably losing most, if not all, of these rounds. But the longer he keeps himself in this fight and, and gives himself a chance, <laughs> you know, he's, and he is not, it's not that he's not throwing any punches, he's just not landing super effective. And how important is it for Ennis' evolution in his maturation process as a fighter to, to be asked tougher questions, to maybe be forced to go the longer than he's ever gone because he's 45 seconds right. away from uncharted territory. It's not that it, 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 well, it is important, but you know, it's, you're gonna get a little bit of different fighters, different looks, and Kukashin definitely giving him a, a style that he's never seen, yeah, making he, it difficult for him to get hit. You're absolutely right. He's not faced anyone yet that oh, has this go. kind of movement. Yeah. Body work by Chukajan. So here, first event of 2023 marks the first time that Jerron Boots Ennis will see round seven in his career. So, here we go. First seventh round of Jerron Ennis' career. And one oh, of the reasons, okay. well, Karen Chuka John has been utilizing that footwork and while he's been tagged with, with all kinds of punches, has been able to avoid any sustained attack. Yeah, Chuka John has taken the power punches he has been hit with and his movement has allowed him to not stay in trouble at any point. And, and he's landed some yeah, counter exactly. punches. I was just gonna say that. Many. And he's landed his own shots. As we begin the second half of this scheduled 12 round affair, let's bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. How do you have it after six, my friend? Well, I have it a shutout, Mo. You know, we're so used to seeing Ennis dominate, but just because he's not dominating doesn't mean he's not winning rounds. I think he's won every round, although four, five, and six were pretty close. I have it 60 54 with Ennis a little bit sharper, and uh, Chuka John just not quite busy enough to win rounds. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Uppercut by Chuka John, counter one, two, hand speed on display from Ennis. But again, Ennis unable to cut off the ring against Chuka John Abner. He's trying. He almost did there. And, and that'll stop. That'll and, do it. Yeah, and what worked is that he threw a three point three punch combination. When you throw a single shot, you're gonna make, make it easy for Chuka John to get away. But when you land two, three, four shots, a lot harder. And the combination punching is what normally separates Ennis. Uh, and you know, Chuka, Chuka John uh, landed uh, the uppercut oh. a moment ago. That, that, and that is an important punch for him to try. But Ennis continues to invest to the body. 
Couple of uppercuts. Just over a minute left in the seventh. Yeah, and this rate of fight, uh, how it's playing out, I think that Anissa has to, you know, uh, risk a little bit more. Yeah. Going there. I know he's going to get hit once or twice, but it's his punches that are going to do the most damage. And he's really doing that in this round, isn't yes, he? Yes. There's a right hook. Three punch combination from the undefeated Philly fighter, Jerron Ennis. Shukan John coming back with some body work. Half a minute remaining in the seventh round. Work from there, work clean, hands free. And this is having maybe his best round of the fight. Mm -hmm. Obviously, as Steve said, he probably won virtually all the ones before, but this one he's dominating. Menace continues to go to the body. Chukad John continues to get on his bike. Well, speaking of titles, both Jerome Boots Ennis and the upset minded Karen Chuka John wanting to get one step closer. And really, the winner of this fight puts himself in, in a prime position to, to vie for a title some way, somehow, Al. Yeah, at some point, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, the welterweight titles are, as you pointed out, aptly are, are safely in, in, ensconced right now, but still, opportunities With may come down the Two of the, the line. very best, regardless yeah, of weight class, exactly. and Harold Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. Yeah. And it's not that Chuka John is playing survival mode at all. Look at him now. He's, he's pressuring Ennis. It, it's just that he, he hasn't, Ennis give, hasn't given him anything or any chance of him letting his hands go. It's always been Ennis pressuring. And I think Ennis is doing this now so he can yes. counter Chuka John. And that's smart. Yeah, I agree. Left hook to the body by Chuka John. Body work by Ennis. And you know what, normally in the video of Chuka John, he might not move this much in a fight, but he's had to. He's in against this big puncher. And while our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood, has Ennis winning every round, anything you would like to see more out of Ennis, despite the fact that he is ahead Abner uh, from our side yeah of course well, what I saw in the last round which was letting those punches go like he's doing right now a lot more not just one or two um, you know will be more effective missing wildly with that left hook out a little frustration right now he was uh, distressed that Chuka John was uh, holding and now there's some right wild hand. punches now the right hand double right hand from Ennis Chuka John making it difficult for Ennis to really hone in on a sustained attack, but Ennis continues to hit him with the jab, hit him with combinations, hit him with the right hand. Hands free, hands free, hands free. Ennis is landing uh, virtually all of the meaningful punches. It's just that, and you mentioned combinations. He hasn't been able to throw a lot because Chuka John is moving so much. Yeah, something that he's doing really smart this one is he's doubling, tripling those 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 same shots, same hand, and it's working for him. Malik Walid might soon uh, give a warning to Chuka John for a holding. Ooh, again, Ennis missing with the right hand. There's a left and right to the body. We go to the ninth. <laughs> the longest night of Jerron Boots Ennis burgeoning career. It's now round number nine, and Karan Chuka John continues to retreat, continues to show some defense, making Ennis miss but unable to avoid that jab. And now Ennis back at Orthodox. Yeah. 
Keep you know clean, what? Keep I, clean. I, I, that's smart from Ennis. I, what he's doing right now, he's abandoning the, the jab, yeah, in order to, for him to get a little bit closer. So he's dodging, he's moving forward, no jab, but when he gets in close, he's gonna let go of those rants. And there was a sharp right hand out. You know, Chikajan is now, the way he's fighting this yeah. fight now is he's turning it into much more of a defensive fight. Right. He's not throwing punches, he's not countering. He's, he's now it's first time it's looking like he's doing it more just to survive. survival mode. Mm -hmm. yeah. As opposed to try and do something effective. But again, Anna's walking him down. Right hand, left uppercut, scores for Ennis. Lead left hook curls around the guard for Chuka John. And Ennis back, well, momentarily, yes, back to southpaw. Goes yeah, and back and forth fluidly. And Ennis countered that punch well, We're too. Under a minute and a half left in the ninth. Chuka John, 26, 21 and one in 11 KOs. Ennis, 25, 29 and 0 with one no decision. 27 knockouts. Chuka John is now landing a few counter punches in this round. Yeah. Not many, but a couple sneaking in there as Ennis attacking a little more boldly. Just when you think that he's just in survival mode, yeah. he comes back with this. Exactly. Any cause for concern in Ennis not being able to cut off the ring more against uh, Shuka John? It's not a concern. I mean, it has to do a lot with the good footwork that Kuga John has. So how do you negate it? I mean, you just gotta, I mean, what, how you started in the beginning. Al, you seem to agree with me, why? Yeah, I do. He, you know, Ennis has to, he's not moving la laterally to cut him off. And, and you know, he hasn't faced a guy this slippery in his career. I mean, Chukachan is very tough. As he creates a lot of angles. And the question will be, is, is there any boxer out there who could do this and punch back yeah, to you know That's the, the question. There, I don't there know. are fighters that are so difficult to yep. close the ring on. There's a, you know, Ennis coming in and uh, reacting as if it maybe something happened that slightly hurt him, whether it was just a, a clinch or whatever. Yeah, more to the body. Yeah. He don't want to fight. He didn't want to dance no. around. He want to dance around. That's why when you, but you ain't, you ain't doing the shot. When you go to your left, you want something. No, we bring it around and then go. Back to the body and come back up top. Gotcha. Same when you on the other side, when you open up gotcha. side. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I come in. Yeah, but sit down. Bend down. And his dad, Bozy. Round 10. Wanting to sit down on his punches. And yeah, they're saying that Chuka John doing nothing but dancing around right now. That, that. I think that little face expression there might have been a little bit of frustration yeah, from Ennis. And, and I don't blame him. I mean, yeah. the caution really giving him a difficult fight and, and almost, yeah, I would be frustrated myself because he's not fighting. It almost seems like he just came here to, you know, take him the whole 12 rounds. Yeah, and you know in those early rounds, Chuka John was landing some counter punches and would occasionally stay and fight, not doing mm -hmm. it so much now. Man, and Ennis, we have keep seen him clean. miss very spectacularly more than we yeah. have seen him in a lot of fights. And again, it's I know he's, he's yeah. trying to bite down, he's trying to sit down, trying to land, but Chuka John has made a miss as well. But it's it's continuing to be Ennis just trying to corral Chuka John, trying to walk him yeah, down, yeah. keep him in front of him. It's not happening often. And again, this is one of those fights where you, you're going to learn so much from. And, and you know, you got to avoid, you know, giving giving yourself, uh, putting yourself in a position where Chuka John can land. You know, it's boxing. Anything can happen. Yeah, that's a very good point. No, hold it, no, hold it. 
Because no, Chuka John does occasionally get in and oh, oh my. Vicious right hook. Chuka John took it. He's only been down once in his career. Left hook back in 2018. Just past the midway point of the 10th. Now Ennis with the one two, but again, Chuka John able to just Marai. You know, it's interesting. There have been power punches from Ennis in his fight that were good. So he, whether it's the perfect Ennis power punch, he's landed some and Chuka John has taken them. There's Chuka John, pops a left and then a right, goes to the body, right left by Chuka John. A minute left in the 10th round. An exchange for good John. And, and the way Ennis is walking him down or, or moving forward, it's almost with, yeah, a lot of aggression. You can tell the body language is like, he's mad. He wants to get in his hard shots. 45 seconds left. Oh. Ennis going to the body, but Chuka John continues to retreat, continues to go side to side and backwards. I think the body work yeah. had an impact on Chuka John right there. I think those body punches took something out of him. Double right hook by Ennis to the body and went upstairs. Yeah, there's a change yeah. here. And this says a lot about a fighter, how Ennis just going in there with rage, wanting to really hurt this guy. And it's breaking down Chuka John here in the 10th. The body work speaking volumes. Uppercut Chuka John in the receiving end. Have an onslaught from Ennis, but then Chuka John pops the jab, and we go to round 11. What? Ennis told us he wanted to work the body in this uh, fight. That one uh, got in, and there's the, that's the right hook that early on in the round looked like it might have stunned uh, Chuka John. But uh, there was also a lot of great body work uh, during that round as well. Give him, give him, punch him to the, to give him the punch for his liver. When he, when he is forward, kick, punch him in his, in his liver from all his, from all your fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop your left. Don't stop your left, please. We begin round 11. Jerron Boots Ennis landed a fight high. 14 body shots in the 10th, trying to stop the marauding Karen Chukajan. And you you got to keep that same oh, aggression now. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to keep that same aggression that you had in the last round from Ennis. You know, Ennis has landed 47% of his power punches with everything other than a jab. He normally is up over 50%, but 47 is also excellent. That according to show stats. Ennis taking the wind out of Chuka John Sales with 40 landed body shots in the last four rounds. There's a body shot from Chuka John, but again, Ennis comes back with more body work of his own. And our unofficial score, Steve Farhard, has given every single round to the undefeated Jerron Ennis. Nice, you gotta go, you wanna go back to what hurt Chuka John in the last round, the body work. Chuka John standing and throwing some combinations, but then he's gonna go after that. He's not gonna stand in the pocket with Ennis. He's boxing better in this round, though, Chuka John, landing a few punches. Coming up on the midway point of the penultimate round. More than a thousand punches thrown in this fight. And you know what's happening is that, that Kuka John, it, it, he is fighting as, as a survival mode, yeah. but in a way where he wants to throw now in order for him to not get hit. And while Chuka yeah. John has thrown almost as many punches as Ennis, Ennis more than doubling them in terms of total connects. A minute left to the 11th. And we mentioned earlier that, you know, Ennis never passed six rounds, so he's looking like he might get a full 12 round fight for the first time in his career, maybe. Double right hook upstairs by Ennis. Watch your head. 
Watch your hands, watch your hands, watch your hands. Watch, watch your hands, watch your hands. The last time that Chuka John hit the final bell was against Alexei Evchenko in February of 2021. And now just 10 seconds away from Jaron Ennis and Kadan Chuka John making it to the 12th and final round. Mattering of booze in the arena. We'll go inside the ropes prior to the final round of this fight. And what you're going to see is Chuka John uh, trying to move and Ennis trying to corner him and Ennis landing some nice power punches. For all the movement of Chuka John, there have been moments like the ones we're replaying where Ennis has been able to get his offense going and that's why he's landing 47% of all his power punches. The right hook. Excellent. And you know, it speaks this this package speaks to the fact that it's not as if Ennis hasn't landed big power punches. It's just Chuka John's walk through them or, or be able to take them. He's able to take them and he's able to take one or two and then he, he gets out of the ropes or he finds a way to get away from the other big shots. Exactly, yeah. No knockdowns thus far. Ennis with 21 knockdowns in his 11 most recent fights. Kadan Chuka John on a career high four fight knockout streak. Both of those streaks could come to an end. <laughs> And Chuka John continues to be able to just utilize that footwork to take away some of Ennis' offense. Mm. Counter right by Chuka John. You see, that's what I mean. You can't make mistakes like that. You got to be careful. Well, they're both going for it here in the the final two plus minutes. Hard-hitting action here in the final round. This is the most Chuka John has stayed in the pocket in the whole fight, and he has landed a few punches, but he's also taken some. Left talk again. Oh, and Ennis missed with the left uppercut, then the straight left down. So the most sustained back and forth action we have seen in the fight, saving the best for last. And with a minute 42 left. Don't know if it's a, if it's because Kuka John is already you know tired of this, this last round and he just wants to stay in the pocket, or you know what he wants to close his show. He's trying. I mean, I think I, yeah, that's a good question. Can he move, or is it that he wants to stay there and punch a little bit to try and make something happen? Oh, right hand and a left from Chuka John. Left hook to the liver by Ennis. Now at close range, as Al mentioned, Chuka John willing to stay in the pocket yeah. a little more. Just over a minute left in the fight. He has created with Ennis a Is fun he playing last round. You know what, he didn't want to go home as the boring fighter guy that was just trying to survive. I agree, Abner, <laughs> I think you're right. And he's utilizing his footwork to put himself in a position to yeah. attack Ennis. 45 seconds left. Left uppercut no, misses no, for Ennis. No, no, no. He, he wants to be able to come back to the state and get and get another fight. Oh, Very good point. Straight left hand lands upstairs for Ennis. Half minute remaining. And again, Ennis missing. And this is 31st professional fight. 25-year-old Jerron Boots Ennis forced to go the distance for the first time thanks to the, the footwork of Kadan Chuka John. We go the distance. Boots Ennis ran into the first guy that could take his power punches. Yeah. And Chuka John did take the power punches. He also had good movement, so he was able to sustain and go the distance with him. And he showed us even more in that last round, Kuku John. Well, the numbers of this fight will demonstrate that 
that Boutenis did a good job offensively. He landed 46% of his power punches uh, and uh, overall 34%, which is good. 88 body punches. He did some great body work, and at one point it looked like he hurt uh, Chuka John. Chuka John, not good percentages. Uh, the, not throwing the jab well hurt Chuka John. If you're boxing, you need that punch. Obviously, he didn't do enough offensively in this fight to put himself in a position to be in the hunt. The numbers indicate comprehensive victory for Jerome Boots Ennis. We'll find out if that's the case. Jimmy Lennon Jr. has the official decision in just a moment. For Chuka John, he took him 12 rounds. Let's make it. Let's get that official decision now from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges score the bout 120 to 108. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated. Now the IBF interim welterweight world champion, Jerron Boots Ennis. Jerron Boots Ennis remains unbeaten. Now 30 and 0 with one no decision as he defeats the tough Karen Chuka John. And so a win is a win is a win. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Morrill, thank you very much. Boots, congratulations. What'd you learn tonight? This is the first time you've gone the distance. As a professional in your career, uh, I learned to uh, just take my time. You know, not rush nothing. You know, uh, I'm glad I went to rounds. I felt good. I felt great. I felt like I was in the best shape. You know, uh, I just need to throw a little more more punches. I, I should have got him out of here. You know. What did you think of this guy, uh, Karin's uh, endurance? It was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Uh, he yeah, yeah, he ran a lot. You know, uh, but uh, that was you know took I, a lot too. Yeah, he did. You know, uh, uh, heads off to him because a lot of guys didn't want to fight me. You know. Uh, Shout out to him for coming here, you know, uh, and taking this fight. <laughs> so, Boots, now you find yourself in this position. You're watching Spence and Crawford, uh, Ortiz, and Stanley Onis. And what are you going to do now as, as these guys, uh, we don't know what Arrow will do. We don't know what Crawford will do. The other two will fight. Would you like to take on that winner? Uh, most definitely. I know everybody knows that I want, you know, uh, Earl Spence, but and the, and the winner, uh, Virgil Ortiz and Stanley Onis. You know, all the top guys, let's get it, you know? <laughs> how long will you wait on that? Uh, You're a mandatory for Spence, but how long How long will you wait? Uh, until, it, you know, until the time is right, you know, whenever he, he ready, you know? All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks so much, Boots. Thank you. Talk to you soon. All right, Morrow, back to you. All right, Jim, thank you very much. Jerome Boots Ennis remains undefeated and... Uh, when it comes to the scorecards, the three official judges and our unofficial scorers, Steve Farhood, they all had Ennis pitching a shutout.